The Lonely Vocalist. Hi, my name is David Lang, and this video is about listening when singing in close harmonies. There are a number of challenges to singing in close harmony, not limited just to pitch and vocal range, although they, although they do play a part. In particular, this video will demonstrate the importance of listening when singing in close harmony. In some ways, this sounds obvious, to listen to the people around you while you're trying to sing with them. But it is often the opposite of what people do. Singers trying to hold their vocal part against another often try to cover one ear or turn slightly away from others uh, in an attempt to hear themselves better and stay on their part. This is not the best way to do it. Listening to others and allowing the harmonies to blend actually makes them easier to sing and easier to hold a note without wavering. Even for dissonant harmonies, learning how your part fits in with the other parts is vital to mastering the piece, even if it seems harder initially. For my first example, I will show how not to listen correctly. To do this, I will use the looper to record, but not play back any part. Each time I sing a new part, I will only hear what I am currently singing. I will still stay in time with the beat because the lights on the looper will flash at 120 beats per minute. This will imitate watching a conductor, but not listening to the other musicians around me. After the demonstration, I will play back all four recorded parts together to hear the result. Good night, ladies. Good night, ladies. Good night, ladies. We're going to leave you now. Good night, ladies. Good night, ladies. Good night, ladies. We're going to leave you now. Good night, ladies. Good night, ladies. Good night, ladies. We're going to leave you now. Good night, ladies. Good night, ladies. Good night, ladies. We're going to leave you now. Good night, ladies. Good night, ladies. Good night, ladies. We're going to leave you now. Good. As you can see from this demonstration, each part sounded fine on its own, but when layered up, the parts were not perfectly in time with it with each other, particularly the cutoffs were not in time at the end of the phrases. Some notes were not pitched well and they became very noticeable, particularly with pitch dropping over a sustained note. I will now demonstrate how to do this correctly by listening to those around you. For this demonstration, I will layer each part on the looper as I go and listen to the previous parts while recording the next one. Good night, ladies. Good night, ladies. Good night, ladies. We're going to leave you now. Good night, ladies. Good night, ladies. Good night, ladies. We're going to leave you now. Good night, ladies. Good night, ladies. Good night, ladies. We're going.
As you could hear, this demonstration stayed perfectly in time, including most of the cutoffs, despite not having a conductor to watch. It also had significantly better pitch throughout, and I can tell you that it was much easier for me to sing than the first time round.